Hello and welcome to Skills Simplified. In this video series, we are simplifying computer skills. To understand today's video, please make sure you have watched our previous videos. The link to the playlist is below in the video description. In the last video, we learned what computer systems, hardware and softwares are. Today, we will look at different types of computer systems. There are four types of computer systems, each designed according to their purpose. First, personal computer or in short, PC. As the name suggests, a personal computer is a computer for a single user to use at a given time. In the last video, we found out how Mr. Accountant and his office functions like a computer system. And that type of computer system is a personal computer or as we'll call it from now on, a PC. A PC generally has a single CPU like Mr. Accountant is the only accountant in his office. It has some RAM like Mr. Accountant's desk in his office and some storage like Mr. Accountant's filing cabinet. All this hardware is enough to be able to work on a single task at a given time. Personal computers were designed to be able to work on a single task at a given time. However, things have changed and current generation PCs could do more than one task. But for simplicity, let's still consider it can only do a single task. PCs generally consists of screen, keyboard, mouse, and a case which houses all internal components like the CPU, RAM, and hard disk. There are many variants of a personal computer. Let's look at them. First variant, desktop. Desktop is a PC designed to be able to sit on a desk. The monitor, keyboard, mouse and the case of a desktop are separate parts all connecting through cables. Second variant, laptop. Laptop is a PC designed for mobility. It is light enough to be able to carry around. A laptop has a screen, keyboard, trackpad instead of a mouse and battery to be able to work on the go. All these hardware are in one case. Laptops are generally less powerful than desktops due to smaller components. But they are small enough to fit in a backpack or a briefcase. Third variant, tablet. Tablet computer is a computer that's even smaller than a laptop. It is almost the size of a book and doesn't have any mouse or keyboard. Tablets use an on-screen keyboard with touchscreen for the input and run on battery. Tablets are very low powered and are generally used for entertainment and portable applications. Fourth variant, smartphone. Mobile phones, originally a communication device, gradually evolved into smartphones, which essentially is a tiny computer that one can carry in his pocket. It also uses a touchscreen like a tablet and has a battery. Smartphones have additional hardware for communication purposes. Coming back to computer systems, after PC is workstation. A workstation, as the name suggests, is designed for work purposes. These computer systems are similar to PCs, but more powerful and sometimes have additional hardware for special applications. It's like Mr. Accountant also has a Mr. Painter in his office who could paint nice graphs and charts for Mr. Accountant's clients. Together, they can do more than what Mr. Accountant could do by himself. Sometimes, it's much better to explain with nice colorful graphs than just numbers and Mr. Painter is very good at that. 
Similarly, workstations can do more than PCs. They can have faster processors, maybe a couple of processors, larger RAM for better multitasking and larger hard disk for storing more data. Generally, they also have graphics processors, which are like Mr. Painter who could do better and faster drawings. Faster than workstation on number 3 is mainframes. A mainframe is like a whole building of accountants working together. Each one of those accountants is like our Mr. Accountant. It's a computer which could be used by many many users at a given time. It has the capability to process millions of instructions per second, where an instruction is a single task given to a computer. Mainframes are used in critical applications. The teller in your bank is actually connected to a mainframe via her computer terminal and the flight operator over the phone is looking for flights via a similar terminal. Mainframes could have hundreds of processors working together to serve their users. They used to be really big, around 2000 square feet but now they are the size of a large American refrigerator. And last but not least, the fastest of all on number 4 is Supercomputer. As the name suggests, Supercomputer is super of all the computer types. It is the fastest computer available. Supercomputers are like a country of accountants. It can have millions of processor cores. The current fastest supercomputer has around 8 million processor cores working parallelly. It has the capacity of churning out more than 400 quadrillion operations per second. That is 4 with 17 zeros behind it. Supercomputers are used for solving very complex science and engineering problems. They are also used for weather forecasting, nuclear and particle physics. Supercomputers are really big but still small compared to their capability. It could be as big as two basketball courts and still could perform better than 100,000 PCs. So, Today we have seen different type of computer systems, but as mentioned earlier, our interest is in personal computers, so from now on, it's all about PCs. In the next video, we will learn about PC hardware. Click here to subscribe to our channel for our future videos. Do press the like button if you like this video and thumbs down if you didn't like it. Mr. Accountant would really like to read your comments so please go ahead and write for him. And keep learning new skills. Thanks for watching. Bye!